coming so this is going to be definitely the last video the last video fits really really nice and the lines go nice we'll uh, latch in i think the bike has very nice silhouettes i don't Hi, good evening guys. I'm starting this video pretty much at eight o'clock at night tomorrow. Eight o'clock in the morning, the movers are coming. So this is gonna be definitely the last video, the last video at this location. It's a good opportunity to complete the video that I started a few days ago when I picked up the Mustang Solo standard touring seat so my, my buddies mike from tour custom cycles and i have i picked up something really cool just a, a short quick get it whoops that's it sneak peek well it's summertime and uh i'm by the mall waiting to pick up my daughter during this uh you know school break i become an uber driver Daddy take me here, Abba take me there, Abba I need to go there, Abba can can you drop me off over here then pick me up over there, so yeah, I'm the Uber driver. Anyway, I thought I had a good uh, chance to talk because I just picked up a great seat today, a seat for Grey Ghost, the new 2022 Lowrider ST and uh, ever since I installed, well obviously ever since I picked up the bike it was obvious to me that I'm, I'm getting a new seat, a different seat because stock seat is uh, as good as it is, oops. This just fell, give me a second. As good as the seat, like as good as the seat is, and I'm not sure how good it is, it's okay. But for long distance, definitely need something better, more comfortable to put a lot of miles in the seat. Truth be said, I uh, ride one up 99% of the time. Actually, the only time I uh, ever rode two up was when I went down to Daytona and that's uh, my passenger was actually my duffel bag. I use the back seat as a, you know, to strap down the duffel bag. So I pretty much go two, I go one up most of the time. So to me it was obvious, I prefer a solo seat. I like the look of the solo seat. Here comes my daughter, gonna ruin my, uh, my whole setup over here. So I need, and I primarily go uh, solo, and that's what I was looking for. So I'll continue once uh, I'm done with Hi. this little ride over here. Hi. 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 Okay, just dropped her off back at uh, her next destination. Anyway, where was I? Well, so I was, I was trying to figure out which seat I'm gonna get. And most of the time I, I ride to a one up. There are a lot of good companies out there. Saddleman, Mustang, uh, La Para, a lot, of, a lot of other companies that I was looking at, that I was looking at with great reviews. And I was considering each one has their own technology, their own gel, their own foam, their own proprietary, whatever. And all reviews are pretty much really good. Uh, what uh, pretty much dictated my decision was uh, the looks and the comfort. Since I wanted a solo seat and I wanted max comfort, I was uh, opting for uh, a solo seat that is wide, has good comfort. I was initially was gonna go for a Saddleman, but uh, because I liked the design of the Saddleman, you know, the stitching, but they don't have, most comfortable seat they have is the Touring. I, I forgot what it's called. Uh, it's pretty much a two up seat and uh, the pillion part in the back is very thick. And I aesthetically, I didn't like that. Uh, on my bike, I prefer to have a solo seat and whenever I want to uh, ride two up or if I ever want to take something and add that uh, pillion in the back, I want it to be uh, a second part, just a pillion pillion seat add-on. So I was pretty much looking for two up, two piece and the one that actually uh, filled that requirement was a beautiful Mustang seat. And that's the one I chose. I'm going to be installing it. Give it, of course, the 1,000 or 1,500 mile break-in period. I'll let you know how I feel about it. Comfort was most important for me. And then the looks. It's pretty much in... It's, I'm going to show you how I installed it. It's very, very easy. I'll show you the setup. And I'll tell you the... Cons I'll talk about the considerations why I chose this specific seat. So as I was I was talking before and telling before, I uh, most of the time uh, ride a uh, sole or ride a uh, one up. I think the bike has very nice silhouettes and I want to keep it 
expose as much as I can. And uh, some of the good, uh, better seats out there, the new modern looking ones are mainly two up that have that, you know, the step up and the deep back support that gives you really good lower lumbar support. And I was looking for something that has a good lumbar support, but in a solo seat. I opted to go with pretty much with the solo seat that I found on Mustang that I'll be going most of the time solo with a backrest. And I wanted a lot of padding, not a lot of padding. I wanted as wide as pass possible in the back bus because pretty much everybody says that the more contact you have with the seat, it's, it's physics. Uh, the more you spread the weight on that seat, more point of contact. So you're putting, putting less pressure per square inch. Does it make sense? So I, I opted to go with the widest seat I can find and Mustang had a 15, it's pretty much 15 inch wide at the back. So I get a lot, a lot of support. I did reach out, by the way, I did reach out to a few of the companies and um, none of them uh, really was able to help me out. Let's just put it that way. So I paid for this Mustang seat with my own coin and which is actually, I think also a good thing because I am committed to no one and I can give you the exact uh, honest review if I'm happy with it after I've broken it in 1500 miles, they say, right? So let me show you, let's, uh, let me show you what I did. Okay, the easiest part of, obviously is taking uh, the seat, that stock seat uh, off. This, what you see right here, right now is after I moved it. It initially was over here. Now this is just a plug. As you can see, it comes out. This was originally here. And over right here, there was this black plug. I took the plug out. And the way to take this out, you see this little uh, plastic washer. The minute I pull it out like that, this thing is gonna fall down. It falls down on the ground, you take it. And what I actually did is I put a zip tie. I put a zip tie through this metal bolt so it was hanging so the whole the metal bolt this metal uh, thing was hanging on the bottom over here and then when it went in from the bottom and came up right here okay not here but it went up through here went up through here and the minute i pulled it up on the bottom there was that metal this metal part and then all i did is i put the plastic clip in and now it's holding in, in place. I did the same thing with this one over here. That's gonna be for the pillion seat. Look at this seat. It's dimensions, are, like I said, 15 inch in the back. It's got a nice lower, lower back, a lumbar support. It's made of two colored, it's not real leather, I think. It's actually uh, some kind of, uh, not sure what they call it, but it's uh, make-believe leather that holds up even better than real leather to the elements, heat, temperature, sun, and stuff like that. So it lasts forever. And as you see, it's got two tones of black and this, they call it arrow stitching, I think. Really, really nice, really nice. Initially in the video and on the website, it, I wasn't, I wasn't crazy about the look. I kind of preferred the diamond stitching. You know, it's more modern. And I, was, I wasn't sure if I'd like this, but I can tell you in real life, it's really, really nice. And it fits the lines, the lines of the center console and the dashboard. Now, as you can see, fits really, really nice. And the lines, go nice with uh, the dashboard, the center console. Really, really nice. Nice look. So now let's put the bolt in the, this is the bolt that's provided with this bushing, metal bushing. By the way, this bushing, let me show you what this bushing does. This is where the pillion, the pillion uh, seat will uh, latch in. Yeah, the bolt and this little bushing over here that goes on the solo seat. And if I'll be riding local, solo, without the tour pack, that's how I'll be uh, riding. Now, I really like back support, lower back support. So I always, I opted getting a backrest. 
So backrest, easy. Slide in. And as you can see, it's adjustable in the back. And for longer rides, this is, this is how I'll be riding. Like that. This is what it's going to look like. Let me show you from over here. On this side. And finally, for the two up, let me show you the two up option. I'm too lazy to take the tour pack off right now. That's why I'm not. I'm just blocking with my hand. Now, now let's put the tour. Let's put the pillion on. What I was looking for. That's what this looks like right now, ready to go. So that's it guys got myself a nice seat i'm gonna break it in give you a review uh once i'm done with with the full break in period i'll let you know as i go how it's feeling i got the option this mustang seat so i can go solo with a backrest and uh two up as well with the tour pack uh, let me show you riding position with the seat apologies again i'm with my shorts and summer riding boots take a look seat puts me back about an inch, two inches. I think that I'm gonna go with the higher rise and two to three, maybe four inch pullback on the handlebars. I'm considering it. Some of you guys actually suggested, gave me a good suggestion to reupholster this tour pack backrest and definitely gonna need to do it with the same lines kind of over here, the same of this kind of, I'll try to figure it out. If anybody has any good suggestions, let me know. I think, I think I'm gonna like this uh, seat very much. That's it guys, wish me best of luck. When you see this video, we're already moved to our new place. Tomorrow's a big day. I'm Sandy watching Holy Shift till the next video, guys. Peace out.